What's up guys, Mr. Gill here. Welcome back to Gym Time and welcome to part one of a three-part series on the pillars of character. Here's what we're gonna do. Every single part, we're gonna go over two out of these six pillars of character. With that, after I go over one of them, we are gonna do this, the spell it out workout with it. And we're gonna spell out each one that we do for each video do the exercises with it, take a break, do the second one, and then take another break, and then we'll be done, okay? The first two that we are doing today are gonna be trustworthiness and caring. Okay, so, trustworthiness. What does trustworthiness mean? Here we go. Trustworthiness, first part of trustworthiness is being honest. Super important to be honest, uh, if you're not honest with people, with your teachers, with your friends, with your parents, you're going to start to get a bad reputation and then people aren't going to believe you as much. And that's not going to be fun when it's something really, really important that you need to tell somebody and they feel like they don't believe you. So being honest, super, super important about trustworthiness. Next part, make sure you're not deceiving, cheating, or stealing from anybody. Uh, make sure you are reliable. So what does reliable mean? It means do what you say you'll do, all right? If you're gonna say that you'll do, say you mow the lawn or do the dishes at home, boys and girls, make sure you do it. Or if you, your parents ask you to put away your toys and you say you will, make sure you do it. That's being reliable. Uh, having the courage to do the right thing. That's a really, really tough one sometimes. Sometimes people might not think that the right thing to do is what you think is the right thing to do, but if it's the right thing in your heart, make sure you do it, all right? Building a good reputation. So I just talked about possibly having a bad reputation. There is such thing as a good one, okay? So make sure you build a good one, and it starts with being honest, all right? And making sure that you're being loyal. So stand by your family and your friends and that'll get you a long, long way, okay? Ways you can show trustworthiness, boys and girls. All right, just like we were talking about, telling the truth, uh, doing your own schoolwork. So if you didn't do some schoolwork, just be honest, tell your teacher, don't copy off of somebody else. That's not being trustworthy. Uh, follow game rules. So in gym class, we have those a lot. Make sure you're following the game rules. That way, as long as you follow the rules, play fairly, Everyone's gonna to wanna to play with you. Uh, don't cheat on schoolwork or tests. That's a big one. That's gonna be really, really important when you get older and fifth graders, when you go to middle school, it's gonna be real important. Do your chores at home. Definitely, definitely. If your parents ask you to do the dishes, parents tell you to put your toys away, make sure you do them. Have the courage to do the right thing. Be an upstander. So what is an upstander? An upstander is making sure that you stand up for what is right. Don't just be what is called a bystander. And if you see something wrong happening, don't just stand back and hope that somebody else takes care of it. You take care of it, all right? Work hard at your team practices. So if you play sports, make sure you try your best. Make sure you're reliable for your teammates, all right? Give an honest effort in all that you do. So whether that's at home, whether that's at school, in gym, do your best, try your best, give your best effort forward. And lastly, give things you find to the lost and found. If you find something and it's something really cool, say if you find, I don't know, a Nintendo Switch or some really cool Pokemon cards, make sure that you hand them in. Those aren't yours. Sometimes you could be rewarded really nicely for that, okay? So make sure you're being honest, trustworthy with that, okay? So that is trustworthiness. What we're gonna do now, we are gonna spell it out. So how it's gonna work, I have every single letter on the alphabet here. Each letter has a different workout with it. And we are gonna spell out trustworthiness, okay? I'll bring these with me. So I'm gonna go back here. We're gonna do some exercising. Some of the letters, they're gonna be easy. Some of them are gonna be a little harder, but some of them, they're gonna be goofy. But no matter what, always, always try your best. If you can only do, say, seven jumping jacks and I ask you to do 10, just try your best, do the seven, 
as long as you try your best, you will get better at it. Maybe next time you will be able to do all 10. So first letter in trustworthiness is a T. We are going to do 20 butt kickers. So a butt kicker, you bring your heel to your behind. You can go nice slow or you can go as fast as I'm going to go. I'm going to start off at a nice pace. I got my water right here just in case I need it. And I probably will. Trustworthiness, it's a big word. Okay, here we go. So go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a little faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's twenty. All right. Next letter in trustworthiness is an R. We're gonna do something called Heisman's. So here's what a Heisman is. If you are a fan of football especially college football. Heisman Trophy is kind of like the big MVP trophy at the end of the college season. It's a trophy where they're holding the football and they're going like this, stiff arm down with their knee up. So we're gonna start like this and we're gonna to jump to the other side and pause for a second and jump and keep going like that 10 times. Here we go, ready, go. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight, and nine, and ten. Awesome. Next letter, we got the T, we got the R, now we got a U. This is called an inchworm. It is pretty tough. I'll start over here. Big thing with inchworm, you wanna keep your feet exactly where they are. You can have them about shoulder width apart to start. You're gonna bend down a little bit, touch the ground, walk your hands forward into a push-up position and walk your hands back. All right, see if you can do that three times. If you can only do it once, no problem, but I'll go this way. Walk my hands forward, push up position, and walk them back. There's one. Walk them forward, and walk them back. Two, and last time. And three. I did this over at Yardville Heights this past week, boys and girls, and I had some kindergartners, some first graders who did that really, really well. Next letter, S. We are gonna jog in place for 10 seconds. All right, here we go, and go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now, next letter. Another T. So, so far we've spelled trust. This letter will be the T for it. 20 more butt kickers. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so, so far we have spelled the word trust. I'm going to get a water break. Take one now if you need it. Make sure you're breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. And here we go. Next letter in trustworthiness is a W. All right, here is what we're doing. We're gonna do three star jumps. So a star jump, you're starting with your feet together. It's kind of like a jump jack. You're gonna jump in the air. You're gonna spread your arms and your legs just like you would a jumping jack. So you look like a star. Just like this. We're gonna do that three times. Ready? Go. One, two, and three. Awesome. Next letter is an O. We're gonna do something called an oblique twist. So down on the ground. You can either have your feet like this on the ground or cross them and raise them a little bit, whichever you prefer. And you're gonna start by touching both hands to one side twisting to the other side, touching your hands on the other side, 10 times. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. Next letter is the letter R. Again, 10 more of the Heismans. So you're starting off like this, remember? And jump to the other side like that. Tucking that knee back in 10 times. Ready, go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. So 
we got the truss part, now W-O-R, and now another T. So 20 butt kickers again. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Almost forgot. And now we're going to do an H. So we spelled trust, and now we'll have spelled worth. All right. We're going to do an H, which is 10 front lunges. We're going to alternate, so we'll end up doing five on each leg, and then we'll take another break. Ready? Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Make sure you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Only one, two, three, four, five more letters to go. We are doing awesome. We're going about five letters at a time here. Trustworthiness, big long word. Whew. I know I'm breathing heavy. My heart rate is up. I hope yours is too. If you're sweating a little bit, awesome. I know I am. All right. All right, here we go. Back at it again. We spelled trust and worth, put them together. We got trust worth so far. Now we got trustworthiness. So we got I-N-E-S-S -S still left. This is where we start getting fun and goofy. On the spell that workout, the letter I, we're gonna do the funky chicken dance. I'm sure you all know it. It's, I don't wanna be a chicken, I don't wanna be a duck, so I shake my butt. All right, I'm gonna play some music with that. We'll only do it for about 15, 20 seconds, so it's not gonna be too bad. Have fun with it. Be goofy. Nobody's at home with you. Nobody can see me. Only you guys. Nobody can see you. Be fun. Be goofy with it. Have a good time, guys. We're not doing the entire two-minute song. All right, here we go. There we go. Technical difficulties, guys. Hold on. I'll be right there. There we go, I forgot that. And I'm restarting. Technical issues. There we go. Oh, Mr. Gill likes the chicken dance. There we go. That's all, guys. That's all I'm going to have you do. Have that up and ready to go for next time. All right. Next letter. The letter N. Letter N, we are doing 10-second invisible jump rope. So we're going to pretend like we have a jump rope. You can do crisscrosses, double jumps, go backwards if you want, but we're going to do it for 10 seconds, and you're going to jump with it. Ready, and go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And uh, next letter, the letter E. Nice and easy one. We're doing 10 standing crunches. How these are going to work, you're going to have your elbows like this. You can touch the side of your head, have them up nice and high. We're gonna bring the opposite knee to the opposite elbow and we're gonna kind of turn a little bit towards it. Ready? Just like this. If you wanna come down a little bit, you can. 10 times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. Last two letters. It is an S and an S. So, since they are back to back like that, we're just going to do them right together. Usually one S is 10 seconds of jogging in place. 
We're just gonna go 20 seconds and be done with trustworthiness. Then we're going on to caring. Here we go. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, speed up. Three, four, five. How fast can you go? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. All right, boys and girls, we are done. The first. We're done trustworth trustworthiness. Throwing it to the side. Next up, we just did trustworthiness right there. Now, we are doing caring. All right, so what does caring mean, boys and girls? Caring is make sure you are being kind, being compassionate, expressing gratitude. So, good way to express gratitude. Say if somebody holds the door for you when they might not really need to. Saying thank you to them, that is being or expressing gratitude. All right. Forgiving others. Sometimes somebody might make a mistake. It might not be on purpose, okay? But forgiving them, that is a really caring thing to do, okay? And then helping others in need. So if you see somebody struggling with something, maybe your mom or dad are struggling or your younger sibling is struggling with something like, say, tying their shoe, helping them out. Uh, maybe if you see an elderly person struggling to get through the door, maybe holding the door for them so you can help them out like that. That is showing caring. All right. So ways we can show caring. Ways we can be caring. Here we go. Uh, being kind to your pets. It's a big thing. Uh, I hope it's really, really easy for you to be kind to your pet because they love you so much. I'm sure some of you might have seen my dog earlier this year. She hopped into our Google Meet videos and showed me a lot of caring, a lot of love. I hope you return the favor to them because they love you so much, I'm sure about it. All right? Spending time with your family. I know my family, we do a lot of game nights. We have so much fun with that. We love to play Mario Party. Uh, we like to play board games. We like to play Uno. We have a game we call Rummy Cub, if anybody likes that. My family, we love that. All right? Helping siblings get ready in the morning. So if you have a younger sibling, fourth, fifth graders, even third graders, they are definitely going to move slower than you. They don't know the routine yet, especially if they're a kindergarten. Help them out. Help them tie their shoes. Help them make sure they have everything for school. Super, super important. Shows a lot of caring. All right? Saying thank you as often as you can. Your parents will love you if you do that, boys and girls. They will love you more than they do now. Okay, so saying thank you, same as your teachers. Say thank you a lot to them. Be nice. All right, uh, keep your community clean. That's a big one, big way to show caring. And that's something we'll go over too in another one of the pillars of character. But if you see a empty soda bottle on the ground, pick it up, throw it in a recycle bin. That shows caring for the environment, okay? Helping people in need by doing things like donating food, uh, collecting clothing for those in need. I know that we do some uh, Thanksgiving food drives at school, bringing food in for the, the some families that are in need. That is huge. That is a huge caring thing to do. All right. And then standing up to bullying. We talked about being an upstander before with trustworthiness. Here's another thing. If you see someone being bullied at school, that is not okay say something, do something, help them out. Go tell a teacher, tell a parent, tell somebody. We are there for you, boys and girls. This should not happen ever. Okay, so tell one of us or help your friend out. Help, the, help a friend in need, okay? All right, we are now going to spell caring. It is a lot shorter, thankfully, than trustworthiness. So we are gonna have some fun and then that will be it for this, the first of three videos for the pillars of character. All right, here we go. Last little workout for the day. First letter we have in Karen is a C. All right, for the letter C, we're gonna do one burpee. For third, fourth, and fifth graders, I'm gonna challenge you. 
See if you can do three to five burpees. All right, but okay, one, two. If you can only do one, and you want, and you think you can maybe do more, go for it. I'll do five, but you only need to do one if you only want to. Okay, a burpee, hands down, jumping your feet back, jumping your feet forward, and standing up. Or another way you can do it, hands down and step back and step forward. All right, let's try five. If you can only do one, no problem. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, and five. All right, awesome. First letter down. Next letter in carrying is the letter A. We are gonna do 10 jumping jacks. So, start like this, jump open and close. Here we go. Next letter, and then we are already halfway done this word, is the letter R. 10 more of those Heisman. So remember, Heisman, starting like this, just kind of like the trophy for the college football MVP. Jump to the other side. All right, here we go, 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, halfway done already. Next letter after the R in caring is the letter I. We are gonna do more funky chicken dance. I enjoy this song. <laughs> I'm sure Yardville Heights, they've had me the past couple weeks. They know how much I like this song too. <laughs> and this dance, here we go. And that's it. Next letter, only two more to go, is the letter N. 10 seconds of invisible jump ropes. So remember, we're just pretending like we have a jump rope, doing cr crisscrosses, anything behind the back, tricks, whatever. All right, for 10 seconds, ready to go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. All right, last one for the day is the letter G. So C-A-R-I-N-G, caring. G, five squats. Just like this, and you're sitting down, just like you're sitting in a chair and pushing yourself back up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Awesome. All right, boys and girls, that brings us to the end of part one of three on these six pillars of character. We did trustworthiness and caring today. Next episode, we are doing respect and responsibility, the two R's of the six pillars of character. Until next time, boys and girls, see you then.